Shall I turn into it? I'll turn into it. What are you turning into? You. Oh. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Are you in focus there? Uh, well, it, it'll do. Are you ready for some really schedulent activity? Are you one of the schedulensia? Well, come along. Let's see what we're going to make today. Yeah. Yeah. The schedulensia. Yeah, those are people who've been enlightened by the shed. Oh right. You know, like the Illuminati, people who've been enlightened by Halloumi. We might have to talk about this. What? Oh, what the belly? The, the crotchal area is what? a bit. Is it a bit prominent? <laughs> yeah, I can see. Can you see I my? Can see the outline. <laughs> Mate, these are from Aldi, right? Not, I can't go down there, it's a PG show. <laughs> okay, <laughs> these are from Aldi, and they're basically kind of tracksuit, but work tracksuits, they were like 10 quid. It's a long story how we ended up with them, I won't bore you, but basically, they're for the man who likes to wear a suit to work, but may get dirty. So, yeah, <laughs> they're terrible. Is there a load of crotchless activity there, going on? There was a bit of... Oh, well, don't show that. I've uh, already right. done it. Have you? No, oh, you're a bad man. So, well, look, welcome back. We've, um, it's been a funny old year. Uh, we're not going to kind of go into that, this. We're just going to make a pure maker film. We're going to rock out a set of our um, coasters for you. We've kind of finalised the design. You've seen us playing with this idea a few times, maybe in previous films. We made a set of these for our Halloween special last year. Did we do those in steel or were they brass? I think they were brass. So since that point we have, we've used a company in Yorkshire and what we've done is we've had them laser cut or water jet, I don't know which, um, our skull motif. Uh, we still haven't got a name for skull, have we? Nobody. Nobody. Oh right, yeah. Because he's got um, no body. Oh yeah, because he's got no body, that's very clever. Uh, so yeah, so what we've done is we've finalised now the design and how we go about making a set of our skull coasters. I bet everyone out there is sick to death of our skull coasters, to be honest, don't you think? No, Maybe no not. one watched it. Oh, good. Okay, well, <laughs> let's remake that film that no one watched, then. Um, so, yeah, so we'll, what we'll do is we're going to go through the process of how we make these. Everyone's going to say, oh, well, you know, all the juice is going to drop through the eyeballs. Yeah, so what? It's a modern world, you know what I mean? Don't buy them, then. <laughs> oh, spiky. Yeah. No, um... It's been away a little... Yeah. Wow, and he's all crotchety. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a slurp of coffee. Mm. Oh, I dropped it. Um, yeah, so we'll show you how we go about making a set of these using this blank. Um, and yeah, there we go. So, stick with us. Uh, yeah, just stick yeah. with us. <laughs> just stick with us. This is unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is we draw on the top or our gum line as it were um, and then let's just mark on some teeth did you get three in there always so what we do now is uh, yeah, so we've marked out our teeth here, or we've marked out where they're going to be. What we do is we take a one mil slitting disc and we just slit up to the gum line. That defines all our teeth for us. What we also do though, and I'm just going to jump a little bit ahead, is show you this. I'm also putting a little bit of texture in, knocking out the occasional tooth. Um, so, I'm going to get on with that. Join us when we're finished. Get the safety on. It's alright for a minute mate, I'm just going to do this. Do you want to get in here? So here you go. I'll try and fire down, yeah.
So yeah, so we've just wire brushed those off. Uh, it's taken all that burr off. Uh, we don't want people to cut themselves on these. Maybe we do. See, it'd be better, innit, wouldn't it, if they did? Like, don't touch the coasters. Ah, 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 Anyway, um, so the next part of the process, collect all those together and throw them into the in forge. Throw them into the forge. So let's throw those into the Go forge. Go on then, from here. No, no. So, and here's some you prepared earlier. Yeah, here's some we prepared earlier. Cause, uh, so Ooh. we'll just turn that back up a bit. Because we've got those running. So now what we need to do, first job always, is to get them marked up. So since we last saw you, we've been making a few. We've made a lovely war department uh, broad arrow, they call it. Uh, this is a piece of, uh, what do you call it, automotive coil spring. Straightened out, forged a little bit and then hand filed and then hardened. So that works. We've also got our run of uh, touch, marks. touch marks. So I'm gonna pop those to one side. So this was stamped onto most military kind of hardware, like during the Second World War and after, and it's still used today, I think, actually, to mark it out as being owned by the government, I presume. Um, anyway, so we've got that. And then this one here, which people might think, oh, that looks like a weird punch. Um, so what I use this one for is, well, this is all part of the process, so I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you. So it looks like a kind of an upside down U, doesn't it? Um, some people might be jumping ahead and already know what that's used for. So anyway, right. Oh shit, maybe you're right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so onto there. Make sure we get that the right way up. There we go, right. So we use this to define our teeth. So let's show you. So, so it just adds that little three dimensional effect to the teeth. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you've got the dirty shed bullet hole to the forehead. Yeah. So, there you go. So I just put it in at a little bit of an angle. And then just, just mark the top of the teeth like so. So he's got a little bit of a skull on him there, that one. Together. Yeah. So we need to now hammer texture the skulls to just have that another an element of texture. So that's what we're doing now. Now what I is I really enjoy using this hammer for this. I think this is a riveting hammer, but it actually does a really nice job. The skull's out and we hammer them all over to give them that hammered texture. However, I'm steering clear of any of the stamps I've put in. So we're not hammering over the stamps. That's gonna make it look like a pig. So we're just gonna go for it.
get him on there, just make sure he's flat. Noisy. Okay, and now for the finish that we've settled on. So what we're going to do is just brass the surface. So using a brass brush. Here it comes. There we go, we're getting to the temperature where it's transferring really nicely onto that. Oh, there we go. There you go. Golden brown. Uh, it seems to me as if the brass transfer works better at a slightly lower temperature than, than straight out of the forge. <sighs> Happy with how that went? Yep, yep, those are, uh, those are done. I would say if you, uh, if you asked me uh, to describe the kind of uh, the process, I'd say uh, it's genius. I think it's the work of a stable genius. <laughs> so yeah, we really like that kind of brass effect and then that kind of texturing and then of course the teeth that are highlighted out it really kind of I think makes the whole things the whole thing pop. You know, that brass finish looks really good. So what we do with these now is these will just get a quick unfortunately I don't have any either. Quick coat of lacquer. We'll just wrap these up quickly because I think what we'll do is we'll go and get some spray lacquer. And we'll just give these a coat at home and then we'll just show you a finished set. So we're going to transition? Yeah, so we'll go to mine and then we can... If that's, that's alright? Yeah. We've gone for the kind of Halloween theme, just walked out. It's really slippy on there, mate. Oh, look at you getting into the spirit. Only for, ha only for hazard. Hello. 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 Look at you. You're crazy. You're a silly little animal, aren't you? Where are you going? You're all over the place. <laughs> little monkey. Hello. She's our little snuffle pig. Uh... Hello. <laughs> Look at you. What are you doing? You want your belly scratched, don't you? It's not happening. It's looking so well. Well, I'll throw now. Throw now the gargantuan. So we've done everything in the workshop, so now it's that nice kind of move into the finishing room, which for me always ends up being the bloody dining table. So anyway, so we've got these, they're all cut out, they're all brass finished, um, looking good. What do we do now? So essentially what I do is I give them a very couple of coats of a clear lacquer. Sometimes I use like a, a lacquer with um, some sheen or like a gloss lacquer. I've actually started using a matte lacquer and it works really well with these. So um, you'll have to imagine that um, that's happening right now. Let me just double check actually. We haven't got any lacquer to hand, but basically I go and buy automotive lacquer, spray paint automotive lacquer. Um, so that kind of basically protects the kind of surface, although that brass does have an anti-rusting effect as well. Um, but once it's got a coat of lacquer over it, it's fairly uh, impervious to kind of anything. So we essentially add a really nice, now this is quite an expensive real wool felt back to them. 
that's just kind of contact adhesive glued onto the back. Um, I then sit there with a very sharp scalpel and kind of cut round all the kind of cavities to give it this shape. So what do we end up with then? We end up with some beautiful coasters with a felt backing. And that is your finished set of coasters. And then they come in a little, a little pull green bag, like so, ready for your use, madam or sir. Yeah, so I think the Skull Coaster film, um, I mean, this is to tag on to the end of that film, isn't it? Yeah, okay. You could, you could say, and I'm sure there'll be people that will say, oh, we're guilty of making the same film over and over and over again, but um, initially the Halloween film, we did make them out of brass and they were all hand cut. I think you remember, if you go back to it, we plasma cut them out. Yeah. That gave us the idea to actually, when we were doing that in the brass, they were quite thin stock of brass. It was like one and a half mil, two mil brass. Nothing wrong with that, but they were a lot smaller as well. But what we realised is we liked the idea that much that we then got them water cut. So if we made them at that gauge of brass, they would have been absolutely restrictively expensive. What I suddenly realised is that I actually wanted to take that idea and make them out of steel. We started doing that, um, except I was hand cutting each of the skulls out. And it was taking up to 45 minutes per skull just to cut them out. And then, and then file nice the and eye yeah. and make them look neat. So... A day's work would have been in making those, and it's like anything. When you have to drill a 12 mil hole for an eye, and then, or trepan around the eye socket with like a two mil drill, and then file it all together with a jeweler's saw. It's and not then, a good use of your time. Well, is it? hell fire. I mean, it would, it would, you know, a, a set of those would take a day to make. So we decided to have a pattern cut. We then decided to hand finish them. It's gone from an hour to make one to um, three hours to make an entire set. You're happy with these, aren't you? Yeah, we're happy, yeah. Yeah, these are now a product. Yeah. We are able to say, if you would like a set of six of these coasters delivered... Or more, if you want. Or more, like, if you've you know, got lots of friends. Yeah, um, we've only got six friends. Yeah, between us. Yeah. But, um, yeah, if you would like a set of six coasters, what we're saying is... Well... £70 plus delivery costs, mm -hmm. aren't we? So that is handmade, steel... Dirty shed stamped. Individual. Yeah, they're all unique. With the missing teeth and everything. And so if you are into Halloween, if you have gothic tendencies, if you're a bit of a pirate... These are now available to buy. If you are interested, then please drop us a line, drop us a message, and we can start a conversation offline. We'll give you our contact details, and we can discuss where you are, what you want, how you would like them delivered. And, yeah, so that's what we've done. We should be able to personalise them as well, in some respect. 10, 10 to 15. Yeah, 10 to 15. So sets. there's only 10 to 15. It's a limited edition run on this style, because it will develop over time, as all yeah, things yeah, do. Yeah. So. Get yourself a first edition set of Dirty Shed Skull Coasters. Drop us a message below if you're interested. Yeah. There's always a deal to be done. I'm going to put a cup of tea on it. Oh. That, that works, doesn't it? Yeah, they do work. Yeah. They're pan holders as well. You could put a red hot pan on it on your... Uh... You put a red hot pan on it? You could put, use them as like a pan pan thing. So, um, yeah, I really like them. I think they're cool. Yeah. Multi-purpose skull yeah. coasters. Yeah. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. Now. Forge fresh, I like to call it. Yeah. Yeah. And all uh, profits go back into making more content for you anyway. So you're exactly. sort of just paying for, like, The, the thing that goodness. you're getting currently for free. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Al. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So if your favourite film is The Goonies. Yeah. Funnily enough, you know, that did have an element in this. I wanted to remake The Goonie Key. This is our and time. And I was like... This is our time right now. now. I know, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I want, I wanted to make a lock where maybe you put one of these and it somehow... And I'm, I think, you know, maybe that'll be something I don't know. We'll yeah. see. For the workshop, we might have a really fancy key. But yeah, get in touch. Let us know what you want, what you think. Um, yeah, go from there. Yep. See you next time. Catch you on the flip side, Holmes. I've got an itchy ear. Have you? Get yeah. in there.
Should we just gonna jump into it? Yeah, what? God, what? It's hot. I don't want it. that hot. No, it isn't for me, mate. Look, the old forge is red hot. Oh, you're okay. gonna get the belly out. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna try not to because it's it's got big. I got stuck. Has it got get, big? I got stuck getting out from. I put a socket in under the house. And there's a really tight little, and oh mate, it was a riot, I scratched all my belly, because it got all gritty, and oh, it's a nightmare. 